Did we already hit? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Did y'all manage to get a Corgi Stampede going before we even started the stream? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed. Well done. <laughs> well done, Tony. That was, uh, that was good. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Learn with Jason. Uh, today on the show, we have uh, Party Corgi Mod, uh, Derek, back on the show. How you doing, man? Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm doing great. I, <laughs> today's a day off. Uh, so, you know, I just out here screwing around doing, doing <laughs> computer things. Um, all right. So Derek, uh, or eco math as, as you are known in the chat, how, uh, how are you doing? How, what's, what's, what's new? What's, what's life like right now? Oh, uh, it's the same old, still looking for a new job, you know, still, Hanging out in Discord and watching it grow. We switched like the baby to the toddler bed, and that has been uh, a fun challenge. Ooh, nice! Because <laughs> now he can get up and bang on the door. <laughs> good, good. Uh, well, cool, man. Yeah. So, uh, so if anybody's looking, you should definitely look into to Derek, accessibility specialist. Uh, what else are you specializing in? You you've got a, a lot uh, of skills there. Yeah, I do a lot of view. Um, I, you know, I know React, Gatsby, I just kind of, a lot of different things. Um, but yeah, accessibility is kind of the big one. Cool. Awesome. So the last time that we talked, oh, I should be showing, I'm showing the wrong stuff. We're, we're ahead of ourselves here. Let's look at, uh, here, this is, this is Derek. Go follow Derek on Twitter. Um, so the last time that we were on, we worked on a, um, a Twitch extension that ended up not being a Twitch extension. It was more of like us wrestling with, with iCal because yes. Google APIs are, are just <laughs> a wonderful experience. Um, but we did get it working. So by the time we wrapped up the show, we had uh, the ability to pull an iCal feed based on uh, using a serverless function. So let's do that. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so basically, um, <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I agree. I agree, Tony. We, we really, okay. This is going to be a long stream. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> I really need to do the PR to update those corgis to be animated. We also need the crispus corgi in there. Um, yes. which means you gotta get it approved. Well, so these are actually not from Twitch. I can put whatever I want in here. Oh yeah, um, but I mean, if people can Chris, trigger them with a Crispus Gorgi alone. Chris definitely needs to upload the Crispus Gorgi on his Twitch stream. I'm not saying, just saying. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so okay. We. Where are we? Oh, thank you for the sub, Bob baby. W wow, wiggle with it. <laughs> That's uh, what's that? That um, who sings that song? Is it Jason Derulo? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then he plays like a kazoo. It's like, doo, 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 doo. No? Just I, 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 I'm thinking of a different song, apparently. Oh, uh, okay. doesn't, doesn't I'm Sexy, and I know it, have Wiggle, Wiggle, Wiggle? That one also does absolutely <laughs> have that. Let's see what happens if we just type in Wiggle, Wiggle, Wiggle. So oh, that's, yeah. the, that's the one I was thinking of. But I think... Well, this is better. This is, <laughs> that is much better. That's all right. Anyways, we're <laughs> um, okay. All right, cool. Ooh. Hey, what's up? Well, thank you for the bits. Um, Ooh. That's so, not fun. What happened? Look at look at the look at the the screen. It's not. There's HTML that's not getting. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do all sorts of things back <laughs> here. I I was looking at this earlier. Like we're gonna have we have to strip tags. Um, we're gonna have to do some kind of like an empty state because this one I didn't plan. It just kind of happened. So there is no description for it. So yeah. it showed up on the calendar, but not necessarily like yeah. with any forethought. Um, okay. Ah, Juliet is on the stream. Wifus yeah. Maximus. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is what she called. That's, that's what Corey calls herself. Good, good. I'm on board. <laughs> okay. So, um, I don't actually remember how any of this works. So let's let's take a minute to look at the code. 
Uh, so we we poked around in this for a second, and what we've got oh, that me. is right now we have a home page. Our home page calls a Netlify function and passes in this calendar link. Okay. Yep. And that calendar link comes back and turns into a, a list of things. Okay, all good. So this function uses something called iCal. I think we like, if I remember correctly, we were kind of getting desperate toward the end because we were trying to use the Google APIs and those were not cooperating at all. And then I think we looked into RSS and that wasn't an option. So we ended up on iCal and I think we found like four iCal packages and none of them worked, but this one did. Yeah, um, and they only work on the server, if I remember correctly, and that was so we have to have the full like right. server and front end, so we can't just hit it from the. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I think that's that's what we ended up with, um, and then let's see, we've got our core stuff set up here, and we then send back just the get cal from URL. Um, which is the iCal URL, uh, empty objects, and then we have a callback. No. Okay, all right, I'm following. Um, let's see. What's, what do we do next? Now I'm lost. All right, um, what do you want to do next? We could, we could try to get, like, like get into the, like, actual extension stuff. Um, or we could look and see if we can maybe filter because there's some stuff that's like old on your calendar and it doesn't really help for a Twitch extension to go back to the time that's already passed. That could be a good idea. All right, so let's look. We've got the, the from URL. Let's look if we've got some options. Always an empty option state. Uh, it looks like they just don't have good documentation. Okay, let's go. Let's go poke around in here. <laughs> Examples. Oh no, I don't know what that is, and I'm not gonna look at it. Um, what the? Oh, maybe it's a count. Maybe that's just the, what iCal looks like because I've never actually looked at the iCal format. I don't want to know. <laughs> maintain my ignorance here. Okay, so here's. Let's see. It starts at. Index.js, let's look at that. Index.js pulls in iCal. For Node, it pulls in Node iCal. Wait. So apparently this used to be Node iCal, and then they renamed it. Okay. So there's, you know. Type of module. Okay, so this is like common JS handling. Here's iCal. Parse params. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I will say that like going from, you know, frameworks and stuff that have pretty good documentation to like these like edge libraries is always so hard because it's like, we don't need to document it because we're just doing this for ourselves secretly. Okay, so now we face, now we face this, a challenge which is that we can try to figure out this library. Or, or just parse the stuff ourselves. Yeah. I would just parse the stuff ourselves just because we only have, you know, what, 80 minutes? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So, um, all right, what we're getting back then is what? Let's, let's make sure our dependencies are up to date. They're not. Google APIs. You failed us, Google APIs. You're out. Yeah, we should remove that. All right. Let's let's, let's clean, clean up, up the depths. Yeah, let's clean up the garbage that we didn't use. <laughs> so uh, we didn't use the Google APIs. We didn't end up using node iCal because we have iCal. And then I'm not sure why all like we have a lot of stuff installed here. I think so I think I set it up with Themia. I said we could style it, but I don't think we need to worry about that oh, right now. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So in that case, let's just run yarn. 
Then we'll do an upgrade. What was that sound? Uh, hosting. Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't know that I had a notification for hosting. That's cool. Thank you for hosting. You dab. Too. You dab, too. <laughs> I apologize to <laughs> all the viewers for making you watch that. Let's upgrade these depths. And oh, that's moderation instructions. The code is self documented. I'm not going to worry about the theme UI stuff because I don't think we need it. So yeah. with that being said, I'm going to start. Start the server. Nope, need to use Netlify dev. So we're going to run Netlify dev. Because I want to be able to use the functions. Yeah, it won't work otherwise. Okay, so here's, all right, good. So it looks like it's organized. Oh, it's got no order whatsoever, does it? No order whatsoever. <laughs> it, it actually, what it looks like is the order of creation. Okay. Because like this one got rescheduled and, and like, yeah, so I think as these are getting added, that's the, the order that they're being stored they in They just now. get popped to the end, and then they're, mm -hmm. they're displayed in reverse. All right. So let's see what we get in the result. Let's, uh, let's go back into the event list. That gives us our events. And let's just include up at the top. We'll do a list item, and then we'll do a pre-dump of all the events. So we can sort by date. That would be the easiest thing. We could sort and yes. filter by date. So let's do that in um, the server. Yeah. So right now, we get back object values of parse dot data. Leaf. Okay, let's 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 maybe check what we've got here. Um, console log data. All right. So this is going to give us a ton of information. Yep. And it looks like it gives us an ID as the is this, key. Is the start an array of dates? I think so. Am I reading that right? <laughs> That's... Interesting. Let me, let me double check what we're getting here. I guess repeat events. So we get the data. Then we get the ID. The ID. Is that an array of dates or is that just like a date object? It looks like it's an array of dates. Hmm. That's okay. super weird. So let's do, I think I figured this out in here. Because we parse it somewhere, right? Here. We get object.values parsed. Touch cal parsed. Oh, I got it. Yeah, okay. All right. So let's, um, in here, let's do an object.values of data data. Fun. And then actually let's, let's rename this to result. Um, so no. get result.data. And then in here we can let's for now let's for each. And I just want to see what comes out because we're going to get um, an array for each one. And that would be the ID and the event. That 
then I want to console.log the ID and the event. And what we should see, assuming I didn't just screw that up, is that instead of seeing this array, we'll see an ID of this and an event, which is this data here. So let's try that, see what happens. Nope. Yeah. The redirects. What? Oh, you renamed you rename data and nothing. It's the resolve that it's it's having trouble with. Oh, good call. Oh. Good call. All right, let's try that again. Have you? Just thinking about now if I dev and wondering if you could just include it as like an alias, like instead of because you typed yarn serve originally, but just like replace yarn serve with Netlify. Oh, I, I definitely could. Um, so what I need to do now, so let's man C. Why is that not working? Control C. Stop. <laughs> Got it. All right. So now I need to figure out um, what's running on 8000. So this is a this is an issue that we need to fix in Netlify dev, but like sometimes if things break, you just get like these orphan processes and then you oh. find them and kill them. Um, okay, so that's right. So now if I run Netlify dev. So someone's asking if you meant object entries over object.values. Oh, I bet I did. But we used object, I thought you used object.values in the. I think I was just skipping the, um, the stuff altogether. Cannot convert null or undefined to object at function dot values. Okay, I think that was I think you're right. That was what it was. <clears throat> What's okay, now some now something weird's going on. What's <laughs> no, get out of here. God damn it. Okay. There you go. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. I'm glad you're running because I I really hate killing ports on Windows. Okay, so that failed again. What don't you like? What like what is it? Possible is that matter? Does does Netlify dev let you add VS Code debug steps? Get calendar line twenty two. So it doesn't like the object dot entry stuff. Or is it that for that for each looks weird to me? I don't know. Let's with the array. Let's just do this. Right. See what we're getting. <laughs> it's still doing something weird though. And that doesn't make sense. Get calendar twenty two. So it doesn't like. Does it? Is it just result? Is it not result dot data? Maybe. That would be weird. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. Because it's coming from that library, right? So like. Yep. Yeah. There so you now go. it's doing what we want. Okay, but I am going to get rid of this. Let's node. All right. So then what we're getting out of this is it's it's an array. Okay. So now we have an ID and, and the then event. the event. Okay. <laughs> um, you are absolutely right. Bobby tables. That is, that is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, let's try this again. Okay, so now that we've got right. that, <clears throat> we can for each. Yeah, but well, let's, let's do that. we can out of the log. We can map instead. No, <laughs> we want to sort, and that's going to give us an A and a B, and we want to sort. Oh, what is it? It's A dot, dot start.
we don't really need the ID anymore, do we? We, we that's why we did values. We don't need that ID because we're not using yeah. it. So the values is just going to give us these objects instead of the array with the the ID. I've never used object.values before. Start. Can we just what if I just convert it to an integer? E.start. Dates. Dates are the enemy of JavaScript. Let's see what happens if I um, sorted. And then we will console log sorted. And let's see what happens. Freeze on me. Yeah, it says reloading, so I think the, the server is having it crashed. Yeah. Okay, now why did it crash though? The dates are stored as date objects, Nikki. Like it looks like an array of date objects, which is the weird thing. Okay. So maybe before we try sorting, we can let's get that out of there and let's just console log. Um, the dates, just to see what they look like. Yeah. How do I want to do that? Object dot values. Why don't we make an? Why don't we just make a variable for the object dot values? Because we know we need that. Anyways. Smart. And then we can console log. Events, let's just get the first one and log the start date. Let's see what happens. Okay. Is there a way to like not make it open in your browser window every time? <laughs> Probably. Sorted is not defined. You console logged it down there. Uh, Kill the port. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Is that on your backlog, by the way? The so many, thi kill the port so many on things the are on our backlog. The problem that we have with um with the uh what we're doing right now is we're we're putting a whole bunch of effort into like different parts of the business. So Netlify dev is is very important, but we don't have the developers right now to work on it. Um, so we are in the process of hiring and we've decided rather than like pretending to work on Netlify dev, we're going to hold off and like do a solid audit and then actually put a full team on, on fixing it. That's cool. Uh, so at the moment, Netlify dev kind of is what it is in the future. Netlify dev will get a whole lot more attention. Um, Bye. My favorite Netlify bug, though, was when I tried to publish something from uh, Azure DevOps, and it was just um, publishing the local repo, like trying to say that the repo was hosted on Netlify. Um, what? Yeah, so it was it was grabbing a relative URL from Netlify to grab my repo, so it was always failing. Yeah, they fixed it. Bad. They fixed it, but because I opened an issue on Netlify Dev, but that was you know. I think back when, before you got hired and stuff, but it was just like, that's ah, well, yeah, once, once I showed up, all the bugs <laughs> disappeared is really how that <laughs> Hey, what's up, Chris? Good to see you. Uh, we were saying you need to add the, the crispus corgi as an emote to your stream. Um, why, what is happening? Other than me having like one million windows open here. Did that finally load? Yes. Okay. So when we stringify, we get this. So okay, string. now you stringify the date. If we so is it let's just figure out what JavaScript thinks it is. Yeah, there we go. My tabs aren't skinny enough. What do you mean? Okay. It 
is an object. That's not. <laughs> I think it thinks it's a date. Okay, um, so let's. Well, we can try it, and if it errors, the only place that I'm not sure is like if you have a repeated event. Maybe that's why it says it's an array. Is like if you have multiple, then it comes out as an array or something funky. Well, I, I I'm wondering if that's more of like a stringify shorthand to say like, hey, this is a date object, and we're not going to try to print it. Okay, um, that's possible. I, yeah, it's just a really weird convention I, either way. Let's see. Let's see if we just use like a, a date function. What happens? Let's yeah. um, let's run like get UTC. No, not UTC. Let's uh, get time. Does that give me what I want? Yes. All right. So let's do a start get time. All right. And then we'll reload this. It didn't explode. That's a good sign. So it gave us a number because we're still running type of. So let's try that one more time. And we get, okay, all right, so it is a date object. And that's okay, great, cool. because what that means is now we should be able to uh, just run sorted equals events dot sort, and then we'll get an A and a B. Oops, you missed a dot. And we should be able to take A dot start dot get time minus B dot start dot get time and then I don't know if that is going to result in um, I can't remember if it's the the a minus b or the b minus a that gives us descending so we can just try it and then I'm going to return uh, yeah that's not going to work you missed a dot by the way after events oh yeah thank you <laughs> and then let's just console log sorted And we get back. Okay, that's promising because this is the, the furthest future one. Uh, so what we should see if this is working the way we want is that Jinsi is on April 30th. And then we would expect that back here, 2019, that's probably pretty close. So let's roll all the way to the top. Yeah, so that's me on top. So I think that's, I think that's right. Um, I think that did what we wanted. So now, if we return this, yeah. it will I mean, currently. That, make, that makes sense, right? Because they're negative. They'll probably be negative time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I think this is fine. Yeah, so we should be able to just return sorted. Yep, and then we'll just want to add a filter. Okay, so let's start by making sure this works. November 25th, 26th, December. Okay, now they're in order. Then... Wait, wait go back. What's go that? To the top, go to the top again. Oh, okay, that was the first one with me. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, I think this one got planned so last minute that we didn't even get yeah. a chance to add it to the calendar. Um, no, it's right there. You did it. Did I? Yeah. I think you did it today, probably. Oh. Oh, man. So this <laughs> this would have been uh, the work of my, my virtual assistant, who apparently is very on top of things. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, Anna. Um, hey, Mr. Right. Hero. So dig that. All right, let's do, um, let's add a filter. And we will say filter event, and then we'll say event dot start is greater than or or let's see get how do we want to do this? Or we would want the end because we'd want it to show if it was still active. So if the end get time is 
less than or equal to, it can just be less than, because I don't care about the last millisecond, right? Um, if it's less than, I just, how do we do just like date now? Is that new it? date, yeah, date now, or new date, both of them should work. Date now. Okay. Do you have to get time on that? think so because I think date now is yeah date okay. now gives us the same thing so let's run that run this and it didn't do anything why Did, oh hmm. oh 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 um we Thanks want you. The end time greater. Yeah, I'm that. doing this wrong. <laughs> the we want future stuff, so the the start time yeah. needs to be no. The, it can still be the end time because we still want to yeah. see the the stuff that's, the one going on right that's now. running right now. Yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so now we are getting the right data in the right order. So I think it's time to try to get this into Twitch. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we get to do the fun stuff that neither of us have ever done before. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Hero? Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah. Okay. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah. I want to fix... I, I missed a closing par parenthetical here, and I really want to fix that. I will not do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to restrain myself. I'm not going to do it now. Just open up your calendar live on stream and just fix it. Ooh, uh, JSpace882 brings a good point, which is that we are currently doing Filtering. unnecessary work. Yes. So let's flip it that way. You were so good with those VS Code shortcuts. I'm just like, let me just copy and paste. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's uh, let's do, just make sure that's still working. It's still working. And then we can go in here. And uh, I think it was the event list. Yeah, let's drop this out because we don't need it anymore. Boom. All right. Awesome. All right. So I think we started something in the Twitch developer rig last time at the very beginning of the stream. Oh, God. I hope that still works. Um, <laughs> Twitch developer rig. Holy you moly. Should, Did that just work? You should have it installed. It might just need to update. Have my Twitch. Oh, you have to goals. sign in. Oh, okay, I'm cool. Signed in. Okay. All right. Stream schedule view. All right, we got it. Panel mobile. Okay. So we'll need to build. Yeah. Back end files location. So it'll, the, because Twitch lets you host a backend with them, it'll let you run it all from the rig. I don't know that we need to worry about that part. We can just run the front end as long as you have the server running. Right. Um, so you'll want to do a Gatsby build. Oh, so we're just doing like, okay. So let's stop this. And then I'm going to run yarn build. And then, so we've got a built file, and it's under stream. <laughs> we need to get you like a like a container for stream or something, so you can just be like, "Here's my little VM, just for each stream." <laughs> I think it's in this one. Um, stream something something. Stream schedule viewer, okay. And then I'm hosting here. I think so. I I never got this far, so we gotta kind of play around with it. 
Um, if your front end requires a custom command, such as for a React application, enter its activation command here. And I guess we can do that too, end. and do the the run. Let's oh. let's see if this works, and then worst case, it it doesn't work, and okay. Get errors Oops. or anything? No, it just it, okay. We need to run it because it is a. It must not have a web server with it, or it doesn't have it. Because it has JavaScript, right? Like, I mean, it's running it... this JavaScript. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. So I guess we can try to just let Twitch run it and like Gatsby serve it, maybe. All right, so let's go up a level. And then we're going to run npm run develop. So yes, there is a run backend button below, but Jason is already running the backend locally. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Oh. I don't, I guess I'm, I'm kind of confused because I'm not, sure what actually needs yeah. to happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it should, right? It should be pulling up the what the extension looks like there, the iframe kind of thing, right? But it's not, huh. All right. No errors, no, no nothing as far as I can see. Um. You may enter an absolute path or a path relative to the project directory. If your front end is no more than a collection of HTML, CSS, and JS files, such as the hello world example extension, enter its path here and run front end. Okay, what so happens? That's what we did. Yeah, so what happens public. on the... What happens when you, on our local site when you kill um, kill the server? What does it do? Like, like if you just run the Gatsby serve without the Netlify server running, what happens? This will so it should all, and that's not coming up. Okay. We should, yeah, like this error will happen, but that. Yeah. Shouldn't. But be nothing's either. coming up, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So creating extension front end. Do, 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 do. Oh, an extensions iframe must import the extension helper JavaScript file. So we gotta add that. Okay. Do you see? Oh, let where... me drop the let me drop the link in Twitch chat so you can so everyone else can look at it. Is this in glitch? That's awesome. <laughs> Where's the code part? Click the code button below. This one? Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, that one. OK. So we need to put that in our. I'm wondering if, if Gatsby is way too much machine for what we're trying to do right now. Probably. We can probably switch Let's... it down to a basic React app. I just I don't even know that we need React. Let's let's just do Oh. Like let's drop out Vanilla here. JavaScript. Yeah, man. Let's just write an HTML. Let's file. do it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is HTML. Mm. Oh shit. Oh yeah, you have all your snippets turned off. No, my snippets. Okay. Um, <laughs> how much of this can I do from memory? Doc type HTML. Let me get HTML. It's just H in. It's all right. And then we need a meta. I think you can just do bang HTML. It doesn't work, I don't think. Wait, is it just? Wait, I have an I have an example, somewhere. Um, oh, I can literally copy paste this. <laughs> okay. How about that? How about we just start here, and then we'll yeah, edit as let's necessary. Do that. All right. All right. So yeah. let me close the terminal, and then let's. Um, RMRF everything. Let's... Should we focus up? Should we like? Should we write some code? Yeah, I, what do you? 
what do you think I'm doing right now, Bobby? Yeah, Campbell? Jason, Jason, I'm fo Jason I'm focused Tom -tom. so hard right now. Um, let's all right. So we're gonna drop out. We don't need the jQuery and we don't need their script, so we'll just get rid of that. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the style. Oh wait. Yep. Probably we do need that, don't we? Um, why would why would we need that? This looks like it's the Twitch. The Twitch, Twitch glitch. glitch asset. Asset. Okay, yeah, maybe, we're good. Maybe we don't worry about that then. Yeah, okay, and then um, I'm gonna just copy over what I wrote in the in that? the Gatsby file. What you wrote in the Gatsby file? In the in the index, yeah. And when we just write because it's just HTML from the main down, and then we just have to fix the middle stuff. Okay, and there's no. No other stuff here. Okay, so let's yeah. um, grab out this main. And then we're going to have to fill in the, the other stuff. Let's get these in here. Drop out that div. Person popping on the right screen. What, what, are you talking about the little videos of Jason? Oh, so we would need to add code. Do we, do we not look the same? <laughs> I thought me and that guy looked a lot alike. I was uh, not thinking. <laughs> that, uh, that's me. I, I am. Yeah. I am he. He is <laughs> I. <laughs> all right. So I, what I want to see is if we can just get this thing to show up at all. So I'm gonna hard code this. Here's the Twitch yes. extension. All right. So let's. Just try that. Thanks. We're, we're yeah. going to go into the Twitch developer rig. We're going to Just move like back index. here. And without a front end command, we're just going to run it. Well, it has to know which file to grab, doesn't it? To run your extension, you'll need to host your front end assets. And if you have. Oh, your... so you need a server. Even if it's just plain HTML. What? Oh, base URI. Well, why is it letting me pick local files then? <laughs> well, you know, uh, serving the files from, if you'd like the rig to host your front end for you, serving the files from a random port of localhost, locally overriding your base URI, enter the path to your front end assets in the first text box below. So that should work. Where's the. Path the... To... Right, so the the path to your your front end assets is index.html. So if you just did the path all the way to the index file, we got issues. <laughs> front end folder name. I think it's reading this. I think we need to look at oh, this. Oh, it's over. I think it's them. reading this and it's not doing it right. Yeah. So there's like a config.html that we don't have. Yep. There is. A description there's an id a name somehow we're doing negative installations <laughs> that kind of hurts my feelings i'm not gonna lie um testing support email viewer url is panel there is a puppy in the bottom right of the screen <laughs> that's the glitch puppy i think yes it is all right okay so what i want to do oh. is i want to look at so that's panel so let's rename this to panel there we go. Okay. And panel's mainly the thing that we want, right? Because we want we want it to just kind of be a pop up on the side of the screen. What are Twitch extensions? We don't need Amazon. Don't need Paul, thanks, though. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> panel HTML and Viewer JS. What does Viewer JS do? That's the like. Twitch authorization stuff, but I don't know that we need that either. Because they want that's because they want to get the local viewer time and stuff, and we don't we don't need that. All right. Read me. Panel. All right. What happens? What happens if we serve it now that you've made it panel.html? Great question. Let's try. Let's. Stop and start. Nothing. What's what's F12 give you there? Because it seems like 
So it's still, still just running showing nothing. the Gatsby, though. It's still running the Gatsby. I don't think this is Gatsby. I think this is... Like, this is not... Yeah. That's... I don't... I, I mean, I could be wrong, but... Because, I mean, there's, there's Webpack going on. What's what's in the script tag? What do we got? No, oh, some garbage. Is this, like, developer right, what rig? If... This is coming okay. out of the developer rig. Okay. okay. That's good. All right. What if we just delete everything since we're going? We've got this checked in source control. Let's just start deleting stuff. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's check in the modified is... stuff. Okay, I'm gonna check in. Um, get add functions, package, and the source and the yarn lock. Okay. Yeah, that's the best way to just debug, right? Just delete stuff until it starts working. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna push that so that that's up. <laughs> and then um, now we can just start removing things. So what I want to do, like the hard logic is here. Yeah, so we can, can just keep that. Stay. This the source can go is really the only thing we need is like this logic. And here. the com yep. And then I mean the there's some good HTML in the component section, but we can like. Yeah, I don't even mind if we dump that. Like let's let's do this. I'm gonna put this in a comment down here so that we've got that bit and then I'll grab out this event list is just like a standard that's just a list we don't need it's the that. event the indi individual event object but I mean it's just a detailed this summary bit, and stuff too. this bit we can hold on to because that yeah. that's actually some HTML we'll probably want so yeah. we'll just save that bit and then I'm just gonna bye <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> then we can remove, let's get rid of the dot env. Um, oh, do we need the dot env? I don't think so. What's in here? Google API. Yeah, oh, we, yeah. We never, <laughs> we never needed that anyways. <laughs> never worked. Um, yep. Then we can get rid of the Gatsby stuff. All right. And then what else is in here? Wrapper element. Let's remove that. Let's get rid of yarn lock. No. Let's get rid of the package JSON, the yarn lock. We're getting all the get a, get this junk out of my house. Um, <laughs> then we've got juice. Would say get out of my game. Get out of my game. Yeah. Um, and then I'm a little confused by this whole. I'm gonna remove this and just let the developer rig create it again. Okay. Um, so Will then it though, because because it uh, generated it for us, right? <laughs> I mean, I I definitely didn't create that. You well when when we set it up, yes, Dom does add words, but I this is a family stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we just broke everything. Let's um, so we'll have a we have a branch for this now that we can yes. we can mess with, and then in this panel. <laughs> We are. Oh yeah, you can RMR from node modules too. Oh yeah, I can. Oh no, you can't. No, we do. Oh shoot, you deleted one thing that we did. You know, need. honestly, we can just use the browser fetch and then fix that. I mean, like, I imagine we're gonna end up coming back and, and doing this, but like. Right, but doesn't our functions have a a package too? Our function has that iCal package. No. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, that's okay because the functions don't currently work, oh, yeah. anyways, and I'm I'm halfway convinced that Twitch is going to make us host a Node backend. So, yeah, I think um, too. I'm I'm wondering. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's uh, let's see. Let's see if this works. I now. really just want to get this one bit to to show up on screen. Yep. It's kind of what Same. I'm after. So let's uh, stop. Let's open. One more time, maybe. No, that's not it. Okay, that's what's that little button on the top do? Project, I gotta move your refresh manifest. Okay, so I did that. Now we have a manifest. All right. It's still looking for a config that doesn't exist. Maybe it generates that. Um, name. Testing. 
panel. Okay, that's better. No. But it's looking for a mobile that doesn't exist. The mobile will be almost the same as the panel. So you can probably change that mobile HTML to the panel thing because I just want to see like if if the URLs exist, does it do what we want? Yeah. Okay, so then in here we also have a config.html that doesn't exist, but it's not really clear. Like this doesn't have a config.html. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't even have the whole, the whole thingy thing, the technical term. That is, yeah. That's... <laughs> it doesn't have that whole rig file at all. Create extension, give it a name, we did that. panel. We did that. Provide a summary description, valid email address, create, client key, review the code viewer.js to make a request yeah. to our backend. Which we're we not worried about right now. Stamp client side to avoid issues with time zones. Uh, that's all with glitch. Okay. So they're hosting it somewhere else. And then just linking to it in the import. There we go. File path to a clean directory. And I just don't. I don't just know what start hosting and see what happens. It's still not hosting it, right? Because it looks like it's not finding anything, but it's like not giving any information either. Are there yeah. bugs? Let me let me just start a base project and see what the heck goes on. Rig can invoke. I don't want a backend though. I just want it to project directory is used. I don't know. Does anybody know how this stuff works? <laughs> anybody anybody work for Twitch here? <laughs> um where's Insta Fluff when you need them? Yeah. Token T U I D Auth Token. That's true. Okay. I'm going to create a new project and just see what the heck, what the heck it fills in. New extension, blah, blah, blah. My favorite shorthand, and it's going to be a panel and a mobile. Next. Well, at the, at the moment, Harry, the, the Twitch extension does nothing. Like it, it should at the moment boiler. only show some HTML, like that's that's the whole extension. We just want that panel to work. So let's, it's a panel, mobile is checked. Extension. All right, so I've just, if my computer doesn't overwhelm, I am creating a new one. To just create my config. Apparently, you're gonna have to cycle some tokens. Documentation. Yeah, and that's where I've been looking is the documentation, and and it's just it's not great. It, it could be better. All okay. right. That's. Can you just create a new extension in the developer rig, and let's just see what happens. Because I realize it hangs up for me forever, and I've had this problem in the past. Create a new one like here. I uh, know. Go to the open the developer rig again. Open the developer rig. Yeah. Okay. And then there's an add project button. Create a project. Uh, new extension. Call it boop. And then we want panel and mobile. Should we start with maybe just one and see if? Let's do both. Let's let's live on the edge. Uh, and then just make what? a new folder somewhere. You want me to create a new folder? Yeah, because we don't want it to like we can copy stuff over or or back and forth. I just want to see what it actually spins up and see what we're doing wrong. I'm trying to do it on my computer, but uh, okay. this is the sound my computer is making. The extension uh, tutorial. I'm just going to do the tutorial because we are new developers by this. <laughs> um, let's see. Hello world pub sub. 
animal facts. We don't want go. No. Front end React based example that leverages config service. That's what we need right there. Okay. Also, uh, Tony's trying to get you to call him dad. Why would I do well, that? Dad too, because he's the same age as your dad. Yes, Chris, there is an animal hacks extension example, and it uses Go, so it'd be perfect for your stream. <laughs> or a perfect teach Jason Go stream. Who, who's going to teach me Go? Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. I I should help teach. I know I know you and you had you learned Vue once with Divya, but I I should help teach you Vue because it seems like you're using it more and more. Yeah. Well. <laughs> 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 All right. So now we have project folder. Yeah. Let's open that and yeah. I I am down to teach someone Vue three. I've been playing around with it at work because Vue two doesn't do everything I needed to do. Yay. Tony, no one has time for egghead videos. All right, so here is the new thing. So we've right. got and this is all, all this config. Guy. We've got a template. Yeah, the template. I mean, this, is a, this is a React thing, so we kind of have to like, but you've got a config.html. And we need a conf and it makes a config bundle JS. So there must be a config in the source. Yeah. Oh my gosh, too many components, people. This is a tutorial, not a. <laughs> wow. Okay. And it's old. All right. So we don't. So but we don't need that stuff. Well. Yeah. I'm just, I was just, that just seemed like that's, that's what we want to do. But now it's like, now we have to parse react and. Okay. Do they have, maybe we should just, let me just do the hello world. I want to see okay. the, I want to see the simplest possible version. Yes. Boop two. <laughs> Doing just the panel. We're going to put a new folder in here. Um, and we're going to. Open this. We're going to do the tutorial example. Getting started. Click a button to change the color on the circle. The, like theoretically speaking, there's like nothing what are you doing, here, right? Computer. That's the hope. Why? Why so are you like this? If I uh, oh shit, what did I call this? Isn't there? Does the I, open in VS Code button not work, or is it open? It, in it opens it in my other profile. Uh, um, and you've got that teach. Yeah. So, all right. Now. Why? Do I love that name. Why? Jason. <laughs> Actually, that works double. Public. Okay. So, config does nothing, but it includes config.js, which does have to log in. Okay. So, maybe we need that. Maybe we have a panel. The panel. It's just HTML. This. Yeah, which we have. I don't know. I don't know if we need jQuery or not. We do not need jQuery because, you know, we, we, we can write some vanilla JavaScript. It's okay. Well, I'm, I'm more concerned that this has a dependency on jQuery, and that's why they keep they including it. They don't tell you that anywhere, though. I think as far as I can tell, it. they don't tell you a lot of things. <laughs> well, here, I can go. I'll go look at that. Okay, so so here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to make sure this thing runs. So let's run it. Yeah. It still doesn't run. I don't think the rig works. <laughs> like I I think part of our oh, problem is you need the, to run the back end too. What back end? There is no back end. There is a back end. There's no back end on this thing. Oh my Curses god. This is back end. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Okay. Um let's run the back end. There's the back end running. Okay. Now run the front end. Hello? And so it, that's just the rig log. That's not even the actual app. 
Where is it supposed to run then? On a random port. <laughs> what port? Uh, list all your ports because <laughs> that's about. Yeah. Oh, is it in the? Is it in the config? What? Is what the config? is this even? <laughs> go open, open VS Code. Go down to the y.json. Does it? Did it? So it should be eighty eighty slash panel. It would be neat if this oh. just worked. <laughs> We're gonna have to. I'm feeling oh, man. real lied to here, Twitch. What's the documentation link to? Does it just go back to the developer rig documentation I, that does I'm nothing? So sure that it does. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. I'm starting to wonder how much I care about this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like it would almost be easier to just link to the calendar. Um, I know, but uh, it's it's this is that's so confusing because it's like this should just work right like we so we've created this is their hello world stuff and their hello world stuff doesn't work it doesn't or doesn't show you that it works extension getting started public okay we do the stop and start it says it's running but it doesn't tell you but there's where. no command to run right i don't know well i mean the command line is blank so how do you actually Oh, look, it doesn't even say go back to configuration service. Stop front end, stop back end, create new view. Do I have to like You've got Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So that was just the developer rig. <laughs> so Nikki, it, it just it just doesn't tell you what you need to do, and you need to go to the extension views and actually see the the thing that you're doing. So open up the new project. Don't don't try to like mess with this like that. Well, I want to see what it does. Ah, son of a biscuit! Because well, it's not gonna like the config. The config is not gonna match. It doesn't need a config. Or the because we're not going to open the we're not going to open the config thing. <laughs> Yo. God damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> we we deleted everything for nothing. Is is what I'm getting. <laughs> Jason's going to throw his uh throw his computer through the wall. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, everything is fine. Right. Everything yeah, is we're fine. Good. We're good. We, that's why we made branches. <laughs> that's why we made a branch. Or we can just do. But it I'm actually, scratching. I'm actually pretty happy to uh, to keep this in plain HTML. Yeah, let's do I it. I think that's that's probably a better experience, anyways. I think the biggest question we're going to run into is how we do any config in here. Um, we didn't forget yeah. anything. The the <laughs> Twitch extension hides the damn. Th it, it's like. Project Do you want to run the run thing? It. So you can what? even stop running. Stop running it and see if it still works. No, you, it does need to be running because it shows up here uh, that it's running. Wait, so, but hit stop front end. Does it change? Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. And if I, I wasn't sure if it needed to, um, because there's no command, so I was like, that's just confusing as all hell. I mean, so okay, so once you learn that extension views is what they mean. Um. Oh my God! Just <laughs> so, so frustrating that that's not like it's running. Look at look at extension views to see your your extension working. All right. Holy crap! Okay. All right. So now we do <sighs> everything's some good. Vanilla JavaScript. Um. But so I think it looks like we do need to deploy a backend. Yes. Um, we will need to deploy backend, but we can just add express and just move your Netlify function to an express backend. Yeah. Do we even need express though? Like, can we just do like a? Can we just well, because it needs to hit it, it, like take API requests. What is the? Um... Is there something lighter than express? Yeah. Let me. Well, there's something lighter than 
been expressed, but I actually think this might be executing a function. Let me let me check. Um, let's do. Let's open this thing up again. Let's look at this back end. This one's using happy. Okay, so we do need some kind of a service. Yeah, because we gotta we gotta send the actual calendar to it. Right. Yeah. What I wasn't sure of is if uh, if Twitch had some kind of like magic backend that they want. That would use. be nice, right? Um, but you can write it in any language, so they were just like, eh, someone's already done it for us. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see any. I don't see any benefit in doing this uh, the hard way. So let's yeah. instead. So we um, could do. So we we've could already. Do, um, we've already got this mostly written. So yeah, we the just only thing that we need to do is we can. Um, let's well, to back in. So there is InstaFluffs wrapper on Express if you want a really, really easy mode. Say that again. Like, we're going to need a back end, right? And so I know that InstaFluff has written, what is it? Comfy. Uh, it's not Comfy.js. What is it? A oh, web, web, web. And it's just an express server. All right, that's the wrong thing. We want to get back out into stream schedule viewer. What is web web web? Uh, it's just a it's just a wrapper on express. The insta fluff route. I'm trying to find it. Yeah. Okay, so you run comfy web. And I mean, we can also just do Vanilla Express. It's just yeah. I so I um, I love the work that that Insta has done, but given that we've already kind of hit some some weirdness on this and <laughs> yeah, we're that's short totally on time, fine. let's let's see if we can just do plain Express. Yeah, so I'm gonna I do. Just, I don't use Express much, so um, we'll call this. Yeah, that's gonna be that. Keep it there. Don't need that. Uh, we'll call it backend dot or it was what did I call it? We'll move it to index.js. Um yep. 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 Okay. So now we can yarn add express and cores. Who oh, do we need cores? I mean if it's making I don't know if we do, but for the sake of ease, let's uh, yeah. let's not stress about it. So then, yeah. in here, we can do const app equals um, require or wait. express. No, we need to do it like express equals require express, and then const cores equals require cores, and then we can do like app equals new express. Um, and then we can do app dot use cores, and then I think it's app dot get. Um, and then just a forward slash, yeah. We'll get like the request and the Let's result, see. and we can move. All of this in here actually so we can uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the body out but put this in here and then we don't need to include these anymore because we've already got those set we don't really need to return a status code and we can actually just in fact I think we can just turn this into a result and then that's going to be result dot son Yes. All right, let's see if this works. Okay. Drop that out, and then we need to do with Express. Is it just like app dot listener? Do I need to? Uh, that's what I'm looking for over here. That's uh, <laughs> that was the wrong Express. <laughs> <laughs> um. Server dot yeah listen, it looks like. Getting started. Hello world. 
Uh-oh. We can just do an app dot listen. So we'll do app dot listen. Put it on three thousand is fine. And then once we get in, we'll just make a little note. Console log. Cool. Okay. So this. Uh, we need to get the iCal out of the request. So we have a bat dot body. It needs to be request dot body. Yeah. So we need um, basic routing. I think. There's a way to do like placeholders, but I'm not. No, that's not it. Let's go in here. Express. Request. Is it just request request body? body? That's for post. I think oh. we want params for... Yeah, Yeah. is it just going to be a query param? Yes. Okay. But that's under named route parameters. Well, if it's not named though, it's rec.params, right? Because the other one is, yeah, requirement.path, okay. Query. There we go. Okay, so I think we probably just want that, like rec.query URL. Or I guess we can say like iCal. Um, and then- And that's not an object anymore. Okay, so that seems fine. And then the way that this is going to work instead is this needs to make a request. Yep, so let's just do... Um, the fetch API just comes right off window, I think. Yeah, window.fetch. Okay. Try to do this with oh, no... It's... No dependencies. I think we need to get like using fetch, don't we? There it is. It's just fetch. Fetch dot then, and then we have to change the response into whatever format, and then we have it to work with. So oh, if oh. I set this up with script, a script tag. and then we'll run um, fetch and use. Relative. Yes, we'll just run it like localhost. 3,000 and pass in this iCal. That's probably going to break because of being a URL. Yeah, it's not. Well, and, and that's why you did post before, I think. It's going to send us back JSON, and then we're going to get... Let's do a console log. A log and see what we get. Okay. All right. Or maybe we should say something like this because I don't know how to get at the logs. Oh, you can't do that. What? It's not React. You can't do that. You have to actually like append. <laughs> Uh, inner text yeah. is going to be this is this is the first for me. I've never debugged this way. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we run that. Errors. Um, we're going to start the back end. Post your front end files. Now we got the back end files. And we'll just say like node. Get, oh, wait. I need to rename this because I set it as the index. Node. 
node index. .js run. That doesn't Nothing. work. Um, What if we do like node backend here? Does that work? No. Wait, Wait is only valid. valid in an async function. That's oh, actually, that's okay because we don't need to await anything. Yeah, because you're making a new promise. So I think what we can do is just do one of these instead of this being. Let's see. Yeah, because you can just. No, this yeah. will work. This will work. I don't yes. Think we need any of that to be a thing, right? Like this is no longer. Yeah, it's, it's no longer aesthetic. synchronous. So we can just do something like that, and if it's going to fail, we'll just do a five hundred, and if it is going to work, we'll just. JSON. All right, now run it locally real quick and just make sure that works. What don't you like? Module not found. Cannot find module iCal because we forgot to reinstall it. Okay, so that works. And then cool. if I run this code here, someone said you have to return return after error. And just return in general. Oh, yeah, you up? have to. Uh, Jason, Jason Brown in the chat. Return after my error. This one. And the res.json too. I don't know that that one matters as much, but we'll, we'll put it in there just for just, for, just being, for being careful. Um, so that's clearly not doing what we want. Um, yeah. Why? Let's do something like this. We'll do an app get test, and then we will okay. Do that. Let's restart it. Run it three thousand. Test. We're still not getting so, anything back, which means I screwed something up. Yeah, that was the, that was the only reason I was thinking. It's in. Uh, I I messed up the course module. I bet. Yeah. Not that one. Well, but oh. the course module wouldn't matter, right? From localhost three thousand slash test. It wouldn't, but I think what I did wrong is I use cores. has to be run as a function. Yeah. So I think yeah. what's happening is it's um, it's failing somewhere. It's well, it's just hanging because it doesn't ever resolve that function. There we go. There we go. All right, now check the funky URL. I think it's still in your uh, here. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so that All works. Right. I'll take it. Um, so this is this is acceptable. We're getting what we want. All right. Then once we have this, we can go in here and do our parsing. So let's get this event list. Just no one's done it yet. Holy buckets, did that just work? Huh? It's prettier. You can pretend like that didn't work? Come on now. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, we've got this. That's going to return back these items. Then we have an event list, and then we're going to. Um, All right, um, then we're going to go to our ordered list. Oh, I shouldn't have deleted that. 
because we can we can still just uh, dump things in here for now and make sure that we're getting what we want. So that'll be our yep. debugger for the moment. Let's stop and restart just one more time, and then let's go into our extension runner. Oh, well, you need to run the backend from the extension, don't you? <laughs> oh, that works too. Cool, works. That works. All cool. right. Okay, so now we can set up a template. Um, and the way Ooh, that we're going to use the template object, I have not used this one. Yeah, so the way that you use the template is... Um, yeah, give it an ID, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a whole process around this. It's pretty dope, actually. Yeah, it seems really nice. Um, yeah, yeah because I, I'm just going to set up these like details objects, right? So yep. we'll give it an ID of event details, and then we want to use it. So we can Create guard element. if content and document. Yep. Okay. So we do a, a guard here to make sure that we actually have access to that. So we're just doing feature detection to make yep. sure that these exist. And then once we get in here, what do we want to do? We want to do. So in your, in your HTML, let's we'll set up the ordered list, just like in generic HTML. Because we got to have something to grab onto. Yep. It's just an order. Yeah, it's just an ordered list. It's it's not in there. Uh, yeah. Well, so you want that. Do we do we need this to be in an ordered list, or can we just like drop in? I mean, for accessibility reasons, it should be in an ordered list. Because the list of details. Got it. Okay. Um. But yeah. Okay, there so you we'll go. Take all that, and then we're gonna put. Well. Oh well. Oh well. Because the order matters. Got it. And then give that an ID. Events. Okay. All right. So then the summary. Just get rid of the. That's gotta go. JavaScript stuff, and I'm just gonna leave these empty, because I think. What we'll be able to do. So we'll need to be able to do that somehow, but we can worry about that. Yeah, let's let's do one piece at a time. Yeah. Um, so we'll start with, and I guess we can just do like a div class equals description. Um, and that would actually kind of be nice because then we can style it a little bit inside of that yep. container. Yeah. Okay. So in here now we've got our template of event details. That's going to create a list item. It's got a details component, uh, which is what's giving us the ability to like toggle open and close. Yeah. Um, each one of those will have a heading and a timestamp. Yeah. And then we'll have an, a description that gets shown. So inside the summary, that means it'll get shown all the time. And then yep. the, the description will be the optional stuff. Yep. Correct. Okay. So then now that we have this stuff, we're going to say uh, event list for Hang each on. event, then we want to, I want to get the, wait, I need to clone the template every time, don't I? I'm finding out right now. All right, so, yep. So you'll need to select the template with a document.query selector. Template equals document dot query selector, uh, and this was called hashtag description or no hashtag event details. Event details. Okay, so now we've got that. Then inside we have to do, uh, isn't it like template dot clone node? Template dot content dot clone node. True. Content dot clone node. True. And that's a fun. Yep. All right, and then, um, and here, then we're gonna go. We can get like uh, the title would be like l dot query selector h two. Yep. Exactly. And then we can do the same thing for the uh, time. time. And this is kind of the oh. nice thing about these templates. Will that it? will that pass through the summary? Like, will it? Mm -hmm. We'll just find the okay. Yeah, because it's going to start 
with the the content and then it's basically I'm like gonna... running a query selector any of the anything inside okay. this tree Perfect. is fair game Perfect. Um, and then the last it's thing it's been a little be while so the description um, so we'll do a description and then that one's a class okay yep. who said we weren't going to use jquery today um so now All right. and then and then you do uh el dot append or the template well, for this one, I think we need to actually set it. So we'll do like yeah. event dot title, and then let's uh, el dot. Wait, I don't think we need to do an append. No, you have to append it to. Um, you'll need to select the. Uh, it's going to be the, document. the table or the the list. Yeah, at some point. Events. Okay, and then for each of these, let's start by just doing the title to make sure it's working. We'll do list dot append child el yeah okay let's try that and see what happens oh yeah cool so that's that's doing what we want next we get to figure out uh how to do so, so the we time do... dot inner text is going to equal event dot date dot what do we want? Like probably the locale. Yeah. To locale date string. Uh, all right. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out how to. How do you set an attribute? <laughs> okay. So that gives us what we want. I don't, I think we probably want to change that to be a little more communicative, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, then the next thing that I want to figure out is how do we, let's see, JavaScript. Element.set attribute is what we're going to need. Okay. So let's start, yeah, let's start by getting the, the time, the date time right. So yep. we will set. Time set attribute, and then uh, is it like this? Like um, yep, name and value. So it's a event uh, date get time. Or wait, we want like what, get, what did ISO. I have set? Yeah, what did I have set down there? Great question. Uh, I just had the date. date. Oh, we just dumped the date in straight up. Yeah, it just. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Because it lets screen readers know. I'm looking it up right now. And I will link it when I find out some more information. Oh, so this just does like the big um like ISO kind of two string. Which is okay, yeah. I think. Um I think so. so that's that's fine. And then I think the other thing that we want is like you look at oh, okay. Screen. What does that do? Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so then in here, we're going to do the description. Okay, so we do have to change. We'll have to format it. Uh, it needs to be a valid locale date and time string or a global, depending on what we want it to read out to screen readers, but we can worry about that later. Um, I think we can just do two ISO. MDN date. Two ISO string. Because I think what that'll do is once we refresh, it gives us like a legit ISO string. Yeah, and that that's works. that's parsable, right? Yeah. And just to double check my work here, date time, that's all lowercase. Uh, yeah, it's an attribute, so it should be all lowercase. Okay. Cool. So then the next thing that I want to figure out is this one's right, but this one's got a bunch of tags in it. So I want to figure out yeah. how we strip tags. Uh, so you will want to do something probably on the server. What? Because you do not want to do that. Right no. there. You don't want to do that. Um, there is a node uh, like, yeah, you want to just get a sanitizer that just removes everything. Okay, so what does this one do? 
Don't you dare freeze on me. What's going on? <laughs> PHP strip tag. I know, is your computer dying? I'm Yo, kidding. did you just... Okay, here we go. We're fine. Kind of fine. Oh, Chris um, listed a package. Chris already have one? Oh, the ISO stuff. Okay. Um. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm what I'm worried about here is that this is going to be... Right, that's... We can always... This one looks okay. It's got a lot of downloads. This one doesn't have as many downloads. Um, I mean, unless Chris speaks up with something else, I'm just going to roll Let's with this. Let's just do this. Yeah, yeah it, this was, it was about something else. Uh, so let's get this one in here. Yeah, and just I would just do it on the server. So we're going to add strip tags. We're going to get into this back end. And we will sort of events, uh, and then we'll just do a map event, and we're going to. So we got to require strip return tags. Return event, and then description is going to be strip tags event description, and then we need to actually include that. So strip tag. Yes, yes, I am. I'm EcoMath. All right. Um, that might work. <laughs> let's see if I can. Let's see if I can <laughs> cowboy code my way through that. Uh, all right. So that's running. Then in the developer rig. Reload. Let's go down to the WordPress one. Ha ha. I don't know what this dance is, but I'm gonna keep going with it. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, my my eight my nineteen month year old can dance, and it's <laughs> it's amazing because I can't dance. My wife can dance, but like we don't dance a lot. And it's also hard because like... you, you got to ooh <laughs> on horseback. That's what it was. We'll do, we'll pretend that's what it was. Like the what's the um the Lil Nas X the the Old Town Road. Like yeah. there's probably an actually cool dance for that, but we'll just pretend that's what I was doing. Is just riding a horse. <laughs> um, <laughs> no it, it gets i mean chair dancing is also very hard like all right uh so i think i mean i think we're we're done ship it ship this ship this thing all right um, we're almost there <laughs> we're we are almost there i okay so we've got let's see that, that, that. okay all right we're in good shape um so this does what we wanted which right, means we now, don't need this anymore. All right, we don't need now, that anymore. Now we need to set up the config, right? So mm -hmm. we can just get the so we can get the correct URL for the calendar. Oh, I figured out why the formatting wasn't working. We had double closing body tags. Uh, Should we? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I was, this this feels good, right? This feels like we're doing the yeah, right thing. Yeah, we're okay. on the right track. Yeah, we're 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 on the right track, and I think, I think we can do a couple things so we don't have to make. <laughs> You're getting in trouble, uh, man. Yeah. Oh, at the end, we should remove the loading. Um. So in the in put an ID on that p tag, and then just remove it when it's. Okay, oh, and once this is done, we'll oh. just get... Oh, you know, I never thought about that before. Now I want to know. Loading, remove. Uh, so the browser and not the... we're not going to deploy with Netlify. We're going to deploy with Twitch. That was what I was wondering, because I think, I think that's kind of what we're up against here, right? Is it like Twitch needs to host yeah. all this stuff so that it can inject config variables into it. I mean, it needs to, ho it also needs to host it to like, make sure we're not actually just dropping, you know, malware in there. Right, in there. right, Apps. right. Uh, right. Yeah, so JSpace, uh, like, honestly, it, we don't need it. Like we, we built this in React and then, and then uh, realized that we yeah. were kind of overcomplicating ourselves here. So this is, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty on board with keeping this as simple yeah, as we no. can. And, and that's, it'll, it's, great this way i think too um all right so configuration service i don't know what this all right, all right. 
Um, so let's figure out what the config would actually look like. I think we had one of these set up. Yeah, one of them had a config. And it just was, you know, not that one. <laughs> right. Well, the so other what, one. what this one did is it kind of set up the basics? Yeah, but do we, we don't need that, right? Well, I think do we, we would, that? right? Because this is the config that like I would get when I log into Twitch to configure the, the panel. Yeah. And so yeah, only I right. should be able to see this. So I do think that's what we want, but let's okay. uh, let's go back to let's I think go it to was this one. So they should be free to host because Twitch is, in theory, using it, like we're making a better experience for Twitch. Um, oh my god, there's so much, so much here. Um, yeah, get the application. Uh, now, what if I just want to save a config? This Twitch configuration broadcaster content. So it checks if it's a broadcaster. This lists all the commands because that's what it does, right? It's a it's a command lister thing, like like Ryan was building on his stream with stream elements kind of thing. Got it. Okay, so we are checking for is moderator so moderators can do stuff to it too it looks like how would how would that work so like moderate so so the config is checking to see what commands you can see as a as each kind of person so if you're a moderator you can see these it, it's overly complicated for an intro app but that's the only one with a config yeah so it's kind of like banging your head against a wall like we've been doing this whole stream <laughs> yeah so uh so harry what we're trying to do here is let's see that's muted good um we want to build a, a twitch extension so like this is a twitch extension that shows recent it's, tweets yeah um and i think what we're trying to do is get to the point where we can show a box a that calendar. has like upcoming calendar events yeah and and a little, just a little yeah a little panel extension and preferably a mobile one um using the configuration service so I'm going to link that in chat. Using the configuration service. Pick that open over here. I don't think I have enough tabs open. <laughs> Enabling broadcasters. Okay, that's what we want. We don't care about the rest. And we then... kind of care about this because we need to be able to save the um, right. The but iCal thing. We don't. We don't need iCal's are public, so we don't need any sort of like that kind of information. We need the broadcaster segment type. We need required configurations. We don't need secrets. So this is more of that. Let's look at the code. All right, I'm going to check the animal facts one to see if maybe they didn't write it in React. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it is React. God. So we need to make a config page. Um, well, I have a config page, I think. All right. It's got to be like config.html or some, something. We don't have one yet. So we have one. Right, but that's... Oh, that's the other one. This one. That's the old... Yeah. So we need to just make a config.html. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to just copy over this. And we'll drop out the scripts and the template. I just wish I could... Uh, I don't care about the React stuff, people. I just want to know... So what else needs to show up in the the config thing? So there, twitch.configuration.set. Where the fuck does that come from? Mm. Analytics? 
bits, clips, entitlements. I don't know what any of these mean. <laughs> Moderation, streams. We don't, you know, we don't need analytics, right? I'm very confused because this is literally what they linked me to. Like that's what the, the docs for yep. extension examples that leverage the configuration service see the new Twitch API reference. What? And the repositories. <laughs> um, but what? Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so in, in the config file, what happens if you call Twitch... Let's see, let's call... So I, I lo I'm looking at the animal facts example. Okay. And in their config page component, uh, they call... They can just call... Uh, they call this dot twitch. Now where the heck? Well, I think that's just window. Window dot twitch. Okay. Yeah. So there's so like wind... a, a global thing. Yep. So window dot twitch, and we should have that registered already. Right. So that should be all we need. Uh, because configuration dot set broadcaster, the name, and the state. So. It looks like this has an example with one checkbox. Yeah, so it has an animal type checkbox and it just submits the value. But what does it do with it on submit? Yeah, so so basically this one here is showing me like you yeah, just have this config JS. In the config JS, you've got the Twitch window. Yep. And then there's contact. Maybe the context will give us something useful. Let's Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's create a new view. We're going to go to the config the, view. The config view. Um, let's leave all that. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, and it's only config logging. Into mode, console. Config. Language. Okay. All so, right. yeah. All right. So we're almost there. Now, if I want to store this, yeah, it's just not. It's really not clear. I'm gonna. Put... What's in this stream schedule viewer? I'm, I'm trying to click on your VS Code. <laughs> um, I actually just want to see what happens. I'm gonna get rid of the config JS. Let's just write all this code in the same file so that yep. we can see what's going on. Um, There's no reason. All right, so All right. Got uh, that. So go to the stream schedule viewer real quick. Like uh, here? The, the file, the file. All the way in the bottom above your yarn lock file. Oh, wait, here. here. Nope, keep going. There you go. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if the config has options somehow, because that's that's what's missing is like how do you save these these data points? Yeah, that was kind of what I was wondering too. Config viewer URL can link external content. Okay. Okay. So let's go back in here and let's look at this config file again. That's the wrong one. We want Twitch extension. So the config page. It is saving twitch.configuration.set. Yep. And down here, oh, is it doing it in the? Uh... Big, this dot state dot commands. Where's state coming from? Set state is the commands. All right, so that's one way to get it. How do you get it initially? Commands config. Config is this. Oh, I wonder if we just have to pull content. it. Config got. Okay, so our back end also needs a config. Right, because great question. Because in the Go example, their backend has a config. What is the 
Yeah, so open that back end, right? Their back end, right? Because this one has a back end too, doesn't it? Uh, no. No, all right, that's the, the front end only one. Um, I don't want the Twitch. Would this one have a back end? This one has a back end, but it doesn't touch the commander. That's not going to help. Yeah, the commanders just get all the commands. Yeah. Buffer from get option. What's get option? Extension option. What is ext? Well, ext is wrapper around commander. So this is like it's trying to pull stuff out of the environment, which I guess maybe it's just sending in environment variables. Boy, these are not these are not hello world examples, are they? <laughs> Yeah, Robert, that's the fifth API. The the new one is the fifth API. Um, so I dropped a link to the one that's more like what we're trying to do. Woof. Okay, wait, here here we got something. So request, so api.twitch.tv extensions slash percent v, which is filling in a string, like channel ID, right? Yeah, so so it's gonna. What line uh, are you on right now? Uh, one seventeen. Okay, so so right, so it's getting the the configuration from the Twitch API. Okay. Configuration the for the channels. Extensions section, the client ID, which would be our app ID. Okay. And then, or no, I hate, I don't read Go well. So I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, okay, so the client ID is our app ID and then the channel ID. So that's what we're gonna have to do. For our config is we're gonna have to, uh, to get the channels settings from that URL. All right, where is it getting the set request headers? That's just go, I think. It's a, con oh, a configuration it's service here. client, yeah. New jot. It's calling Chris. Just just phone him up. Yeah. Read the go. New jot. Oh my god, there. <laughs> this is. All right. Well, good thing we got a full backend. All right. So I'm I'm I think wondering. This is a good place. I, yeah, I think we got to call it here because yeah. where where we've landed thus far is that we've got like the Twitch extension is loading and it's aware of what's going on. However, I have no idea how how this works. Yeah, learn more about the what's the learn more about the configuration service link take you to. It like takes me to. It takes you there. All right. Verifying the JWT, but where do you get the verify function from? Like this is, I I definitely see. Yeah. What so the verify function here. is coming from your language. So whatever language you write in has a JWT verification thing. Right. But. Yeah. So it's it's we have to do it all ourselves. Like, that's awful. Using the config. Uh, okay, so what, right. if, what if I just do something like this? What if I just give it um, the thing that I need? Yeah, because we don't need a, all that JWT stuff. We just need the to get the configuration for the user. Yeah, I'm not 100% convinced that this is going to solve. This is the wrong one. Here's what we need. Uh, request is here. Right, so then I can put this in here. Right, and the nice thing is if this works, then we can actually take that out of the request and just hit the API and grab it for the, the user. 
Right. But I like I'm legit not sure. Ooh, that looks like it's working. Haha. <laughs> okay, so it set some configuration. Yep. And then we have the like... So can you can we try I, I know you want to wrap up, but can we just try hitting that that URL from the go thing but with, with our client ID and your channel ID? Um I mean we can, but it's not gonna work. Because we don't have a we don't have a valid jot. But they uh, I mean they they set the jot in this call. Okay. Yeah, well, we can try it and see. At least if it gives us an unauthorized, we know that we're on the right track, though. Okay, so it was extensions and the client ID and then the channel ID. Okay. And we have both of those. So we have both of those. We got the client ID and the channel ID, which it was, was in the extension in the in the configuration service. I won't let you copy it though. Oh, I will. Oh, uh, you missed me. Yeah. 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 Wait, no client ID Whoa. specified? That's not true. Um, what? Extensions. Client ID. Yeah, no, I right. think I think we yeah, gotta. Yeah. There's there's a lot going on in here that we're not dealing with. And so yep. I think, um, but I think oh yeah, you got to set a client ID header, you got to set an authorization header. So we don't have any of those, which means right. that it's going to reject kind of out. But of we're hand. on the right track for next time, and I think we'll be done next time. And then we we'll just have to wait for it to be. Well, yeah. The I mean the the biggest thing here is like, um, where's the new JWT come from? It, <laughs> that is a whole function where they're <laughs> they're. Uh, managing and parsing. Yeah, but I mean, I think that what we have left, we can probably do in one more stream is what I'm getting at. I think, because now it's just setting up an API and, you know. Yes, Robert, for sure. It's definitely, the docs are definitely a challenge. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm I'm trying to decide if I care enough to do this because it's like, it's so much it's so much runaround for something that yep. is should just like, be yeah and, and like we already have a command for this right so it's like there you go yeah <laughs> i mean um, as some as someone on mobile it's nice but yeah i mean i i definitely get it like i i i see value in having this i'm i'm trying to decide if i see enough value to like deal with twitch's bad documentation all right well, why don't why don't we we can talk offline and see what we can what we can do because maybe we can like if I can solve some of this beforehand and it's just like okay fill this stuff in and then yeah I mean I, I think and this is also showing an opportunity here because if uh, if someone were to release a library that just did this part and like some yeah. simple examples um, I think it would make life uh, so much easier I think it would make life a lot easier uh, another yeah. thing that we can probably do is look for other tutorials on extensions because probably somebody has gone through this and, and written it up uh, and we might be able to get some some helper functions yeah. for dealing with like especially the jot stuff because like this sucks this like building a jot is not something yeah. that should be required like well, twitch twitch should be telling us how to do this yes for sure i mean maybe we can just grab a jot library though like Pro yeah oh yeah i'm sure we could npm has solved that a bunch yeah so I, th I think my my ultimate frustration here is is that like yeah, this not this documentation done. isn't like here's how to use our thing. This documentation is like we built something that we thought was cool that is really difficult to parse, and we didn't provide you any of the foundational tools that you need to make this easy. Yeah, um, for so sure. it's it feels a little like somebody showing off instead of actually teaching, which is yeah. you know as as someone who writes a lot of uh tutorials and stuff this is it's yeah. always like I, I i struggle with this a lot so it's um you know yeah well maybe what we, what we should do is once the vod goes up to youtube in you know 48 hours or whatever send it to twitch just be like hey we tried to make an extension and here's the problems that we ran into mm, yeah that's a good idea
Yeah, you know, yeah, it's a good just, idea. Just just tag them on Twitter or whatever. Cool. Yeah. So all right. So for now, I think we can call this. Um, let's let's get in here. Save our yeah. work. Um, let's. All right. So we were able to do quite a bit here. Let's get commit all, and then we're gonna open this as a pull request, or let's add all. Let's get commit. Um, Switch to vanilla JS. Okay, we're gonna push origin and then we'll just open up a pull request for it. Okay. And there you go. If you would like to check this out, here's a, a link to the PR. Um, with that, I think we're uh, th this is a good stopping point. So yeah. um, we were able to make quite a bit of progress. We we wrestled our way through the developer rig. Um, yep. I think we <laughs> at this point we at least have a path forward yeah. to to how we could make this work. It's just a matter of whether or not that's a a worthwhile pursuit. Um, yep. And you didn't, oh, I know why it failed. It's because it's still trying to build Gatsby. Doesn't matter. We're uh, we're not using Netlify anymore, so I can actually yep. disconnect it from there. But uh, okay, so Derek, thank you yes. so much for coming on the show, man. Yeah. Where um, where should people go to find you online? Um, Twitter. I'm at I'm Derek. Um, I'm in the Discord, Bang Discord, and I have a personal site that is just Derek Dev. Um, there's no blogs up there yet, but it's coming. I, I have the branch. I'm sitting on the branch. I'm just, I'm doing an article, um, article for MDN. And then once those are done, I'm going to start blogging. Nice. All right. Well, thanks y'all so much for coming by. Um, this yeah. was a, uh, a fun, <laughs> if frustrating, uh, episode and yes. hopefully we'll, we'll see you at the next time. Um, yes. It's also representative of like real development though, right? Like Someone builds a thing, just shows off, and doesn't doesn't write about it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair enough. Um, all right, so we're gonna raid. Let's head over and uh, and say what's up to Michael. Um, thanks again for being here, Derek. Really appreciate your time and chat. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time. <laughs>